After repeating Central State's mission and model, the new president of the university was introduced to students and staff today, and there was a lot of excitement in the room. CSU and is one of the oldest historically black colleges in the country. It's in Wilberforce, Ohio. That's between Columbus and Dayton. Well, Dr. Jack Thomas is now the ninth president of this university, a place of higher learning that's been through a lot. But instead of being focused on where they've been, school leaders are already celebrating the victories. The good is just a family environment and how everybody help each other and want to help each other. And that's one of the best things here. Like many students in the room, Tom Johnson has been at Central State all four years. He's getting his engineering degree in the spring. And while it's time to go, this senior says he kind of hates to leave the place because of the big announcement. I'm very excited to see changes and see what he can do for our university. Central State, since I've been here, been through a lot of ups and downs, but we always end up to come on top. And they want to stay on top. Jones is the president of the student body at CSU and part of the selection committee that conducted a national search last year for the university's ninth president since it was founded back in 1887. 70 applicants sent in their resumes, five were interviewed. The president, Dr. Jack Thomas, left his post at Western Illinois University and will begin his new job in July because he's been saying what we wanted to hear since day one he's been serving on the search committee um i feel like he's a great fit for the university and he'll do amazing things board members say dr jack thomas has a proven record of doing just that major things he'll need those skills at csu to help keep writing the university's success story one that took a major hit in 2013 when central state's low enrollment and financial difficulties put the school on ohio's fiscal watch list but that's all in the rear view window and with his list of goals, Dr. Jack wants to keep it that way. Raising funds, uh, making sure that we carve a niche in our academic programs, that we have the, the, the right academic programs, uh, uh, cutting edge kinds of academic programs, and we want to make sure that we are able to um, market this institution, creating a marketing plan, as well as a bona fide strategic plan for the institution. A plan that lets the world know that this campus earned a land grant. It's not just a teaching, but a research institution as well. We have research with respect to uh, aquaponics. We have research with respect to bees. We have research with respect to looking at potential cures for cancer using snake venom. That's occurring on this campus now. So we are just bustling with these new ideas and opportunities. And in the state of Ohio, Central State has the lowest tuition of any college or university. Really? So it's a, it's really a place yeah. to go. And that's one thing the president talked about, opening up diversity. And notables that attended and graduated are Arsenia Hall, Joyce Beatty, Joyce Beatty, and of course, R&B singer Nancy Wilson. And you know that college has been through a lot. It's nice to see them on this path yes. to prosperity.